right, let's see if we're fine here. Oh! Oh my god, no. Oh, yeah! Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! What's going on, guys? Here I am once more. How you doing? How you doing today? Let me know in the comments. So, as you can see here, we found Ermin. She is one of those monsters that whenever you kill them, they become a follower and then you can get them to the prison, in this case to Astor prison, and they will give you a total of 660 diplomas for this one in particular. Now, I gotta tell you that it was not super complicated to find her, it just took me like a couple of days looking for her a couple of times a day. So, I recommend you to do the same if you want to scroll your characters up or if you want to get some relatively good cam amount. Now, this was a really long combat and I almost died, but eventually I could manage to kill her. Then, of course, you will take her to, as I mentioned before, the Astrup Dale, and they will reward you with 660 diplomas. I repeat more than 600 diplomas, which is nice for our level. And now guys, I'm excited to tell you that we are going to go to Otomai Island. But first of all, look at this one. I just got a new appearance for Galbraith. <laughs> I just love this one. Oh my. Alrighty. So, we will speak to Captain Haddock and Roll and we will need to bring him certain resources to go to Otomai Island. So as you can see here, you will find the resources that you need to give him in the quest book. I'm showing you those ones right away. And well, to get for example the big ball, you will need to kill some monsters in the beach. So that's exactly what we are going to do first. We will go to the shoreline of Sufokia and we will find those monsters. Here you can see that I found one, but I was interested in looking for more than one because when you kill them, just with this quest active, if you kill them, you will get as many resources as monsters you kill. So, for example, if you hear the raw mobs, if you kill these three ones, you will get three of these resources per character which is good because you can then sell them in the marketplace and you could do this as many times as you want because it's a drop rating of 100 and it's got no upper or lower limit so you can do this just for fun and just to get some quick and dirty money so I'll see you in the next step so as you can see here I dropped three big cannonballs per camp per character sorry then you will give all these resources to the captain and you will be able to leave Madristem. Now in the boat be aware that you will need to kill three pirates. These are like super easy combats but just be aware of it because I know that there are some people that try to come here at level 30 and they have like wisdom set or something like that and they can't just kill these ones pretty easy combats then we talk to the captain once more and it seems like we need to get some resources because our ship is wrecked so these are the resources that we need to drop to be able to repair the ship now we kill some monsters of the zone and we will get those resources in no time it literally takes you like three or four combats depending on how lucky you are if you find the monsters in the same group then the last one is going to be with these chests easy peasy these combats are not difficult at all unless you're doing like eight monsters at a time and you are solo then you talk to the captain again and you sort of help him to repair the ship 
and you will now be able to go to Automy Island. Now be aware guys to you know the first thing you should do is to go and get the sap because if you die or something like that you can easily come back here then talking to Kido will give you a new transportation way in Automai. You will need to run a quest. Then here talking to the Death Breach Keeper to be able to do that quest. The first option is actually your favorite color, so choose one. The second option is the gender of your character. In my case, masculine. Now can you cross your arms? It depends if you know how to cross your arms in the emotes. As you can see, I don't, so I say no. Now this formula is for the fourth question. You will need to take your remaining parts. You need to add 500 parts and then divide that into five times and it will give you a number. Now you need to choose the closest um, option to that one, but not the last one, just the closest, but the minimum closest, let's say that. Then, uh, well, <laughs> white. You need to say white. And then here you set a regular crowback or a baby crotzilla. And you will finish with this quest. And now you can go to this zone, the bottomless peace bug, as many times as you want. Now we're here because we need to kill these three monsters for Kido in order for us to be able to travel using his scar planes. These are just scarlet leaf monsters that um, fly you to f four different parts of the island. So it's four different quests. This is the first one and we will do it just to save some time. Now, after killing these monsters and a couple more, I just got the achievement of the zone as well. Remember, we are heading to 10,000 achievement points that's the goal and i really 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 want to get it so as you can see here we got automized arc pirates now then we will go back to keto and we will go to the grassy plains scar port as you can see here you will take a scar leaf as i mentioned before and that will fly you to that place then i just took a long walk to the correlator dungeon because remember that we are getting these dungeons for Belina Thumb. Now I'm not showing you the whole dungeon because it's too long. I'm just gonna show you the last part of the dungeon. That's the you know the most important one. And now I've got a surprise for you because today I'm going to show you the whole combat. Yep, no cuts, the whole combat. So, I really hope you can enjoy this one, and I'll see you later.
As you can see here, I couldn't really go for all the achievements at a time because I lack of power, but we will eventually get there. For now, we got this ornament, which is really cool, and I'm using it right away. Then we need to go back to Belina Thumb and report back the quest. She will tell us that we need to go and talk to another person, which is going to be person point in the Magna Village Inn. So, we will go there and speak to him and we will get the first part of this achievement done. Here he is. So you speak to him and there you go. You get like 10 points into achievement points and some resources. And that's it guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a really good one and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you really enjoy the combat. Well, goodbye. Take care.